Hey guys, and today I am going to be showing you how to get the Zen marker. So, as you guys know, Zen marker is all the way down here. It's probably one of the most hardest ones to get, that basically because of all this. Uh, that's it's basically the last marker before the difficulty marker so yeah anyways so we have to go find that marker so first of all you guys want to go all the way over here which is basically near the Candyland area the new Candyland area and you want to climb up up here and so that way, you get over to this fountain, which has this first hint. So the the clue says, the first clue is somewhere it burns. It's a bit checkered. Don't take any ris risky turns. So basically what that means, like, do you guys know where the checkered area is? If you guys know, then you know what I'm talking about. It's the factory, the obby. Basically, I wouldn't really call it an obby, maybe. Maybe it is an obby, it's just a really small one. But you have to do some parkour here. You go over here. And then over here we have our checkered area. And then when you die, I guess it burns. Because it's layers. Okay, anyway, we got that hint. Let's get out of here. Okay, so next hint is a powerful god frozen in time. The clue is held by him covered in grime. So... Next, you want to get out of the factory, of course, and you want to make the long journey all the way across the map to this desert area where it has the pyramid and everything, all that, yeah. Okay, so now that we're here, we can go ahead and climb up here to get this hint. And there we go, we have another hint, and it says... In a biome, the biggest a uh, hidden layer. Maybe there's something behind that hill over there. So yet again, we have to go all the way over here to the um, mountain area. Not really, but it's over here. Past the house, all the way towards the edge. So that we're over here. And you want to get right here on the fence. And you want to get on this little ledge right here. And I fell. Um, I'll be right back over there. Okay, once you're here again, you want to get on that ledge like I said. Um, then you don't want to scoot off too far that you fall. But just far enough so that you can make the jump over here. And you want to jump down here. Then there you go, there's also the location for the big marker, the gigantic marker, I don't know what's called. And now we're going to jump down, and now we're back at spawn. So, this hint says, the height may be frightening, but act quick, be faster than lightning. So what this means, you want to go get on top of the house. If you guys don't know how to get on top of the house, you want to go into the chimney, uh... And you might need to jump a little because it takes a while to spawn. Then you need to do some parkour here to get all the way up into the clouds. And here you go. There's also the location for this cloud marker and the other marker. Well, then anyway, you want to get down, down here. And then there's the clue right there. So you want to jump onto the lightning and collect the hint. And while we're here, I'm just going to try to get this mark. Never mind. Okay, anyway, this last clue says your prize lays in in quite a cozy place. After you find it, head to the face to the fount head to the fountain face to face. Oh gosh, I can't read today. Anyways, um now we have to go to the cabin over there. And after this um, you might realize that, oh my gosh, this is actually more easily than I thought. Because yes, it is. It's way more easy. Okay, um, now we have to go up here. And we have to get this. Oh, we have to, you have to jump on that chocolate coin. Then you have to get to the fountain that we were at earlier where we got the first 
the first clue. And yeah. So basically you go over there, um, you toss your coin in, then there you go. You got the wondrous Zen marker. So yeah. Well guys, I guess that's all for today. And if you like this video, please hit that like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Believe in Unicorns. Well, bye guys.